Reste impliqué dans ce combat Palestine On te ressent comme un éclat Le soleil dans le froid et la brise Tu restes droit grâce à tous ceux qui méprisent Tes droits et ta foi Palestine Il existe et se bat Palestine On donne la liberté à Palestine Que des cycles de combat Occupation 
nation, having been shot multiple times by Israeli forces at the time of their detention and then thrown in prison without allowing them the bullet wounds to heal. was shot 10 times in the arm whilst on her way to school. Then she was stripped of her clothes to her underwear and soldiers took selfie photographs with her against her will whilst she lay in a pool of blood. Her wounds were not allowed to heal and she was imprisoned whilst in need of medical care. Some of the women are held without charge or trial under Israel's illegal administrative detention. 12 years old Dira Rahi was abducted on her way to school. Her parents were not allowed to see her and she was interrogated in contravention of international law without the presence of her parents or a lawyer. When her parents finally saw her at military court nearly two weeks later, she was still wearing the same school uniform she had on when she was arrested. Among the women prisoners are Palestinian human rights lawyer Shireen Isori, who is being persecuted simply for defending Palestinian political prisoners. Last week, the military court sentenced her to four years imprisonment simply for her work with Palestinian prisoners. Palestinian members of parliament are also regularly targeted. Last year, Khalida Jahar, member of parliament, Palestinian parliament, was caged, serving a 15-month sentence for her work in support of Palestinian prisoners. Just a couple of days ago, another Palestinian woman member of parliament, Samira Halaika, was abducted from her home in an overnight raid and dragged off to an unknown location. The longest serving women prisoner is Lena Jaboni, who has been caged for 15 years of a 17 year sentence. Her crime is to support the just struggle against the illegal occupation of her land. To extract her forced confession, they threatened to torture her elderly mother, having already tortured her brother and sister in front of her. All the women are held across the border in Israel in contravention of Article 4 of the Geneva Conventions, making it near impossible for their families and children to visit them. Most of the women are caged in Israel's notorious HP-powered Hasharon prison. At Hasharon, Palestinian women prisoners have to endure beatings, insults, threats, sexually explicit harassment and sexual violence, as well as humiliation at the hands of Israeli guards. They are often forced to undergo degrading strip searches during the middle of the night forced to squat naked and subjected to intrusive internal body searches for no reason other than as a punitive measure. Women have been beaten and left tied to their bed for a day and a half and not allowed to go to the toilet as a punishment for spilling water. The cells at Hasharon prison are overcrowded, dirty and infected with rodents and cockroaches. There is a total absence of basic hygiene. Women have been denied sanitary pads when menstruating. The heat is unbearable. The windows are closed and covered so that hardly any air or daylight can enter. The food is insufficient and of inferior quality, dirty, often containing insects and worms. At times there are not enough portions for all the women. All of Israel's prisons, including Hasharon, are pow powered by Hewlett Packard. They provide the IT infrastructure that keeps these 
operational. We are here to demand that the American multinational company Hewlett Packard stop its complicity in these crimes. Their profit from the torture and caging of women and young girls is repugnant and unacceptable. Shame on you, Hewlett Packard! Shame.